All right, guys. So today I'm going to be making a video about how to do uh, the correct whitelisting for Pi Hole. Uh, so I'm going to talk to you guys about it, how to get it going, how to get it done, and then I got something else for you guys at the end. So, but before we do get started, let's start that intro. All right, guys, we are gonna show you how to do cool ad lists. Uh, there was an update recently on Pi-hole, so there's a different way I'm just getting into your IP address most people might not know. So what you're gonna have to do now is, like mine is 192.168.1.184 slash. You gotta do the slash admin. Before it would say, hey, you're not admin. Now if I don't do the slash, it's just gonna give me this, forbidden. That's what it's gonna do. Unless you go slash admin and then boom, we're here. We're rocking and rolling. All right. So next what we're gonna wanna do, I'm gonna put my password in obviously. We need to sign in. Boom, we're signed in. So never. Okay, so we got my, my ad list going. I was messing around with this today again, just making sure I was ready for you guys for doing this list. I had some people asking about it, some family members too that I haven't done theirs, that don't live with me, that wanted to know how to do it too. So the fun part is, all you gotta do is go to domains, and then these are all your domain lists right here. You're gonna see, I, I already have my perfect ones in here. This is my best list, it's not too demanding. With this list that I have, I don't even notice really that I have an ad blocker other than I don't see ads, so it doesn't really interfere your web searching. These lists are perfect that I made, but I'm gonna show you guys how you guys can do yours too. So, like I said before, what you're gonna wanna do is um, if you go to a website and it's not letting you get through, or if there's a problem with it, you gotta search your uh, query logs. So you'll see all this right here, and this is why it is important. If anybody tells you, oh, it's not that important, they don't care about their network or whatever, but if it's something that's gonna be on your network permanently or it's part of your household, that's not somebody just coming over or something, but it's somebody who lives there or using, give it a static IP address, whether it's on your IoT network or whatever it's on, because you wanna know who's on your network. I mean, how do you not wanna know? You can check any time, like, oh, there's, oh, yep, everything that's supposed to be on my network's on there. Nobody's secretly on my network. Like, well, what's that device? You know if there's some network, because you know every other device here that's named, you give it a name, you give it a static IP address, you look like, that isn't any device. What is that device on my network? Just better security, better knowing. I mean, they can hide it sometimes, but still, it's just a good practice. And this is great for Pi-hole, because you're gonna need to know what devices were blocking the most, or if you're trying to figure out what device that you're on, like this computer is a dot .150, so I know that it's a 192.168.50, this computer that I'm on it. Uh, the 199, I could go look this up, who it is, that's, oh, that's, on, it's a, uh, that's on my, um, what is it called, my IoT network, it's a dot .2, so I already know it's one of my IoT devices, so I don't care about that. Uh, my wife's phone I know is an 80, 82, Mine is 87, so I already know like whose is what, so I can know. So we're gonna look on the computer now, and what you would do, you would go like, I'm just doing like, uh, let's just go to, let's go to, because this will take you to weird uh, different websites. So we're gonna go shopping, because we can go to action figures and stuff like this. So you would just go through and see all these different websites, because these are what you don't wanna block. You don't wanna block if you're searching for car parts, if you're searching for, anything that you want to search, new refrigerators, new whatever, when you click these links to the shopping or if regular Google shows them on top, when you click them, you don't want to get something that shows this. Let me go to my domain list. I'll show you one with AliExpress because I got this. I don't shop there, but I just have it just in case. I don't want to be locked out. So we're just going to disable this and disable that. So now we'll go find Goku. We'll go find an AliExpress one. Let's see, here's an AliExpress. Yep, that's what you can't, it's gonna be like, you can't reach it. You're gonna be like, what the heck? And get all mad and stuff like that. So then you would go to your query logs and he would see, okay, okay, 150. That was, oh, that's just smaller, but it's different. So let's see if I research it again. Let's 
see, you keep searching, we're just gonna let it go. Sometimes you have to go this way and go back to it again, it'll bring it up. We go back here, we refresh, click it again. Since it's already on my thing, so it's probably not gonna show up though again. Let's just make sure, yeah, it's not gonna show up, but it would show up here if it wasn't. And just to show you guys, I am going to delete those lists out of my thing and re-add them back in. So let's do that together and I'll show you how this kind of works. You shouldn't have to do it, but let's just do it just as a, a, a temporary demonstration here. So I'm gonna go to my list. There's the AliExpress, uh, Class Critic Services. Yep, and I need both of these ones gone. So I'm just gonna go to delete, delete. All right, now we'll go back to the dashboard. We're gonna go to query logs again. Give it a minute, it might take a little minute just to kick everything into gear and everything like that. So we're gonna go back here and delete this, delete this. We're gonna refresh this page again, just so I can show you. So, AliExpress again, let's go find our AliExpress one. Uh, where are we, AliExpress? Come on, now I can't find it because you're gone. What happened? Walmart, where are you, Ali? All these other ones, they'll work still. It just depends on the page. This one's taking a minute just because it's going through, but it's it's really quick, actually. I just did some of the pie holes reconfiguring. Where is that AliExpress, though? This is what we got to go find. Uh, come on here. Sorry, guys, this is taking a minute. We will find it. I'll just search it again. We'll just do this. Refresh again. All right, so let's go. All right. Goku AliExpress. And there it is right here. So click it. There it is. So first, stkexpress.com. What I like to do is go back to your pie hole. We're going to refresh the logs. So here it is. SDK AliExpress 50, because I know this is my computer. I'm going to add the whitelist this. The whitelist. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to that AliExpress thing. Refresh. Okay. No, it's not going still. So we'll exit this. I'm gonna go back to here again. We'll get rid of this one. That was the other one we were at. Let's go back to AliExpress again. Let it kick in. Nope, still can't go there. All right, we'll go back to pie hole again. We're gonna go back to the refresh the list. Okay, this is, let's we'll see here. AliExpress thing, we have to do the, both of them. Sometimes you have to do both things just to make sure. I'm gonna do both of these right here just to make sure. All right. And I'm gonna just refresh this one more time just to make sure, yep, we're on the pages here. Exit this out again. Give it a minute, let's give it a minute. Nope, still not. So we'll click it again. I'm gonna do this a couple times, we'll get this going. So we'll go to, okay, there it is. Oh, there it is, it kicked in now. So it's kicked in now, it's finally good now. So we're good now. So now if we just click AliExpress, boom, it's in. So that's all we had to do. Now I'll go back to my domain list that we were doing on Pile. Let's go back. As long as it kick, takes a minute, just takes a minute. Just be patient. All right. Okay, so it only added that one. So it was just that one. It, like I said, I added both because I wasn't sure, but it hit the request twice. That's why it showed it two times because I refreshed it. So uh, now it's in there. So now we'll wait here. So AliExpress is in there. So now we have AliExpress. Now there's another one, Petco. We're going to do Petco. I just want to make sure. So we're going to go back to... We'll go to, oh, I didn't spell right, but whatever. It takes me there. Um, oh yeah, we'll go tanks, fish tanks. Oops, if I search T A N K S. All right, so this Petco, right? Oh, PetSmart, Petco, PetSmart. We'll do this one. See if this one goes. Okay, yep, I already added that in earlier. So I did fix that one earlier. Okay, yep, that was perfect. So everything should be good now. Because I was just testing this out for you guys, but that's how you would add it. We figured out how to add it. I got the S click. That was aliexpress.com, so we got that in there now. So this is in our domains of whitelist. Now what you can do too, if you wanna make sure it worked and you don't wanna have to go back and search it, you can always go, boom, disable it really quick. So it's disabled now. So it's still in my at, in my domains as of, of whitelist, but, and if it would be block list, you'd have a you know uh, block listed or whatever right there, so you're good. But let's go back to um, AliExpress again. Watch, it's not gonna, but was it under that AliExpress one? There it is. So if I go here again, get a minute, remember, might take a minute. Let's just exit all these out. AliExpress. Okay, it's gonna take a minute maybe. Give it a minute. Like I said, it can take a minute, which is where it kind of gets a little difficult. You can make it go a little faster sometimes. What you can do is if you go to your settings, 
flush, you can flush the logs if you want to flush logs, flush network and all that, kind of get it going again. Like it's, this always helps. It's always good to do this every once in a while if you just wanted to kind of clean the slate up so you can kind of watch how your thing's going. I didn't do it all the way yet. Let me go back to settings, sorry. Flush network table, yes, flush my network table. Perfect, okay, flushed. Flush logs, 24 hours, flush logs. Give it a minute. Yep, that wasn't flushed before. Okay, flushed. Go back to your dashboard, zero, zero. Starting over again. Okay, perfect. So now um, I'm gonna go and try the thing again. Let's exit this out. Uh, is it gonna do it now? Let's see, come on. Let's see, oh, did I do both of them? Maybe I did. Let's go back. Domains. Two. Oh, come on, uh, exact, oh, default, yes, okay, so it is disabled, maybe their disabled thing isn't working right now, but I'm telling you, let's give it a minute here really quick, so I know, watch, I'll refresh this page, and then it will just go away, and you know what I think I might do, because I can, oh, you know what it is, it's because my um, history, is uh, the same, that's right. Let's go back here, closed out. I have an automatic history wiper. So let's do this again. Da -da -da. Goku, uh, shopping, shopping. Cause remember, remember your cookies and your history and your browser can store it in there and I have auto. So every time I log back, go back out of Chrome, close it out, it clears everything for me. So let's just go back here again. AliExpress, if we can find it, I think I skipped it. Doesn't matter which one really is long. Oh, there it is, AliExpress. Let's go to this one. There it is, yep, like I said, it can't be reached because I had to remember that. I have my um, auto history eraser for Chrome. So it erases my cookies, my passwords, everything, every time I did it, so I don't have to worry. But yeah, so that's what it was. It was stored in the browser history, so that's why it let me go. So you can do that too, exit out, go back in, test it out, it's a little quicker. You know, I'm telling, showing you guys as I do this. Let's see, 192168. Dot one dot eighty four admin. We'll just keep it there. So that's the only thing. Because I kept those to go in, so I didn't have to worry about those. Let's see here. So now, oh, so I can't even think of my password. Boom. There we go. Thank you. All right. So now we'll go back and add that on now. So now just to show you, uh, domains again. Add two. Enable it again. Okay. Now we're gonna go exit. I'm gonna go back in, and now I'm gonna go to uh, Goku again, and then I'm gonna go to shopping, and then we're gonna go to, where's AliExpress? There it is, AliExpress, and there we go. Boom, we're back in it again. That's all you gotta do. Gotta just play with it. I got a really good list thing, but here's the cool thing. I got most of all these, so if we go, uh, let's say, car, Parts, whatever. Oh, sorry, my keyboards. I'm really quick on my keyboard and it's turned right now. I'm doing all my streaming stuff. But we'll just have all these American Muscle. I have already kind of set these all up, so they're already going to be in here for you. So I have all the the, the most ones. If you guys find one, I'd be crazed out. Um, but I have most uh, of everything you can imagine. Let's go to plants. I don't know, like, you know, the decorative plant things or whatever, boom escape, I don't know what that is, but let's see if we tap boom escape. It's gonna go to all these places for you, so you really don't have to worry about not finding a place, so that's pretty cool. Let's go to this place, never heard of this. So everyone that's on there, it's gonna go, it's gonna show you guys this stuff, so it's not gonna interfere with your searches or anything like that, because the default list can do that sometimes, especially with your, um, I also have a list on here too, it helps, you know, if you're scrolling through your YouTube shorts, and I do it like two hours straight going through different shorts, sometimes it lags after a while. I have a thing to stop the lag on my pie hole. It blocks something that would usually interfere, stops it. I have sometimes on Amazon, a lot of times when you try and look at the pictures, it won't come up. It'll say there's something wrong or like the little advertisements on Amazon. I have that unlocked, so you guys can at least do that on your Amazon stuff. And I'm gonna give you guys access to all these lists. So all you guys gotta do is download these lists, these uh, white lists, and you'll be rocking and rolling. So like I said before, let's go back to the pie hole. Let's see, is it up right now or no, it's not. Let's go back into it. Oh. Uh, 
84 slash admin. Boom. All right. So we go password. Boom. All right. So then we will go to, uh, you know, I have all these at lists right here. These are all be your guys's. I'm going to give you access. I have two lists in there. I have two lists. There'll be an insane one. That's 2,700,000. Unless you're an advanced user, do not use that list. I'm not even using that list. It's just too crazy. I was using it. My wife, I mean, never bugged me, but my wife did for certain weird websites she wanted to go to. So I was just like, fudge it. Then I'm going to, you know, do it down. And I really like this. And this is, I think, perfect for, I would say, 90, uh, 95% of people. This will be fine enough. The list I'll be giving out. And you'll see it there. It's going to be my new uh, best list 2023. Use that. But always... Um, you're always going to, every like month or two months or three months, you always want to go to your settings here and you're going to want to update your gravity list and just hit update, let it go. You can do it from your phone. My previous video and setting this up, show you how to do it from your phone. You can add this to your home screen of your phone. So you can have a quick shortcut for your pie hole itself where you can just do this too. It's all up to date now. So you're these right here, your domains will change all the time. I mean, sometimes it won't change if you just update it regularly, but these can be more or less all the time because they're always updating, adding new lists, taking old lists away. So yeah, just keep that. And uh, those are the ones that actually are pre-installed from uh, Pi-hole itself. So those are al already uh, updated by a, rep a <sighs> creditable source. So don't worry about those of if you go to your ad list right here, this is the one. This is the pie hole. This is the, all the good stuff right here. Keep this as default, and I'm going to make it even easier for you and add all these in there for you. So you guys can download it, and then you'd go to settings, and under teleport, you would go to browse. Once you've downloaded those files from the Dropbox link that I will be putting down in the description, hey, but before, if you guys like these videos, hit that thumbs button, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you guys don't miss any of these videos. All right, but if, uh, so once you hit that, you hit restore, and it's gonna put all those, all the changes over. Don't worry, it's not gonna do like DNS, it just does the ad list and the domains and block lists and all that stuff, not actual DNS and all those settings, so don't worry about that. Um, so the cool thing is, else, what you guys gonna wanna make sure is, if you guys already have lists in there, and you're like, well, I just want to go with your list, not my list. So what you can do is go to settings, teleport, back up your list so you can always go back and forth, and then go to back to domains and delete all these. You'd hit this and hit delete all, and it'll delete all these lists, and then you would just import my list, and it'll make all these go in here. Um, the reason why I would say do that, it will just add mine in there with yours, but there might be a conflict or something. I mean, they're not really conflict. I don't know how you would say that. It might be, with my stuff and what your stuff is, it might be too much. I'm not saying you can't do it, but if you're just like, hey, I just want to make sure I have this dude's list only. I want to get rid of mine. I don't really, I think I might have let through stuff I didn't want to let through, and I just want to try his list, then delete all, add it in. Remember, with that teleport backup, you can always go back and forth with lists and test them out. It's it's just awesome. But yeah, this is the one I've been rocking for a long time now, and I just love it. I mean, very rarely do I find one anymore that I can't even go to a website unless it's just some weird whatever, but that rarely even happens anymore. But yeah, so hey, I hope you guys get those lists. But the most important thing is, the reason why I did this video was just to make it easier for you guys. I know it's going to be a pain in the butt. I know people are busy and they're like, hey, I just want to block the ads, dude. Just give me the list. Now, if I have a problem, I probably won't have a problem and I'll just use them. And that's why I wanted to make this video. I wanted to make it easy for everyone. My family's eating dinner right now. I'm doing this while they're eating dinner. Not many people are on right now. So all these block lists are probably, they don't even, we have our own Plex. So it's streaming from our own Plex right now. So all these are probably just from IoT devices blocking their information going to the cloud or whatever they're supposed to be doing. So uh, I hope you guys like this video. Yeah, but the most important thing is, as I always say, that you and your families are having a rock and rolling day. Peace out. I got to go eat dinner with them. So hey, rock on and I'll catch you guys in the next video.